Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and today I would like to show you a flight controller. That was anticlimactic, right? On the first glance, uh, this is nothing special and also if you look carefully it also suggests that it's not really a flight controller but it's a GPS unit and GPS GNSS to be more precise. And to some extent you are 100% correct. This is a hybrid. This thing has the M9N GPS receiver and antenna located here on the top. This thing has STM 32 F405 flight controller below. We will get to the what's inside of this thing in just a moment. And it can run enough with the special target designed for this thing because, well, yeah, you know, flight controller without the possibility of having some kind of the flight controller firmware rather makes very little sense. Uh, but the target for the INAV is only will be only available with the next official release of INAV. And if you really want to, you can also probably use it as something else. For example, only as the GPS receiver connected however you want. However, the real magic shows up when you turn this thing on and see at the full list of the possibilities. Because this thing originally as shipped from the factory of Matek is running the Ardu pilot. And you can use it with INAV. And it's not done yet. No, honestly, what this thing is? To some extent, yes, it's a flight controller with the GPS. Probably all the users of the multi-rotors will say meh, but this makes no sense because if you install the antenna protected by the top plate then the reception will not be perfect. And you are right. And the fixed wing uh, pilots will say meh, okay, maybe why not, this is not that bad, so maybe you can use it. However, the full potential will be unraveled and presented to you with the next major release of INAV. Because this thing, when uh, running the original firmware, will be reporting the GPS position, altitude from the very precise barometer, heading actually compass uh, from the very precise magnetometer, and because it's running the full-blown uh, Ardu pilot position and attitude estimator, it will be able to return non-drifting artificial horizon to INAV. Amazing, right? Bear in mind, the part of this thing reporting the artificial horizon data to INAV and INAV being able to understand the data is not really there. So at the moment you can use it with Ardu Pilot, you can use it with the INAV as just another flight controller with integrated GPS, so you just put it somewhere inside of your airplane and it's just fine. But in the future, in the future this will release, and of course you can still right now use it with the Ardu Pilot, if you really want to. But in the future this will probably, hopefully, finally solve the major problem of the INAV. The not always precise and usually drifting uh, the position as uh, artificial horizon. Bear in mind, what I'm showing you right now is the prototype. It's not the final version and if you see over here it's called the M9N F405 while when you look into the Matek website you will notice that this thing comes in two flavors. One is M9N F4 3100 and the second one is M9N F4 5883. Three. What's the difference? Well, the 5883 is the one equipped with the Honeywell, or actually clone. Or the, it's no longer Honeywell, uh, 5883 magnetometer, while the 3100 version is uh, equipped with much better and more precise uh, 3100 series. Uh, RMS magnetometer which gives just you a better and nicer results. And then when the next major release of the INAS will show this thing will be the next thing since the sliced bread for all the big model pilots that use INAF and would uh, minimize the chances of the horizon drift. This thing will combine the Ardu pilot world 
because it will be running pieces of autopilot to correctly compute not drifting artificial horizon and send this data to INAV and then INAV will give you the nice user experience when you can relatively in a simple way, at least much simpler than in case of the Ardu pilot, set up everything and fly without having to go through the mission planner and all those things that Ardu pilot have inside. So, definitely, definitely one of the most interesting things from Matek that appeared uh, in the last probably six months and maybe even slightly longer because this is really opening a lot of interesting possibilities.